Good morning, my dear friends. Jesus Christ is Lord. God sent us here to preach to you about Jesus Christ. Hope you today that some of you will give your light to God. Amen. How are you, friend? You okay? God bless you. Today's message is Christmas is for sinners. Christmas is for sinners because we are sinners. There is Christmas. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15, here is a trustworthy saying that deserve awful acceptance. Watch it that Christ came into the world to save sinners. Now God sent his only begotten son, Jesus, the Messiah, the anointed one, Christ, our prophet, our high priest, the king of kings, and the Lord of lords, because Christmas is for sinners. The Bible also says, in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, she will give birth to a son, and you will give him the name Jesus, because worship, he will save his people from their sins. So you see, the name was given from heaven. Jesus, in great is the word for Joshua. Yeshua means Jehovah, his savior. Jesus Christ means his anointed savior. He came into the world to save sinners. Why? Because all have sinned and fortune the glory of God. The Bible tells us in John chapter 1, verse 14, the word became flesh, the Logos Jesus became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as the only son from the Father, full of grace and truth. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 6 says, Who being in the very nature of God did not consider himself equality with God? Something to be grants, but man himself nothing. Taking the very nature of a servant, being made the woman likeness, Jesus is full of God and full of man. He came into the world because of sin. The Bible tells us in Judge chapter 6, verse 11. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight and full of violence, not that degree today. But the earth is sinful of it. When Jesus Christ came into the world, he was corrupt. He would tell them about his kingdom. They had in their heart, they did not believe and did not take a heed to his word. What did they do? They crucified him. The Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 2, verse 8 and be found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death. Even death on the cross. God bless you, man. So Jesus came to save us from our sin. That's why there is Christmas. So Christmas is for sinners. Jesus is the author of life. And yet, the glory, he left it in the heaven. He came here to die for our sins. For us to know God. That he might consign us back to himself. Jesus conquered the grave. Because of his death, burial, and resurrection, is mighty to save. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25, therefore, he is able to save completely to those who come to God through him because he always lives to intercede for them. That's we sinners. It is interesting to see how Jesus responds to sinners and to compare how Jesus responds to religious leaders of his day. He blasted the religious leaders. He was kind and compassionate with sinners because Christmas is for sinners. In Luke chapter 5, verse 31 to 32, Jesus answered them, It is not the healthy, wounded doctor, but the sick. I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Who has sinned? All. Oh. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, 
for all have sin, I'll fall short of the glory of God. This is where all mankind is in the same bracket where the same. Because we all sin. We differ in many ways, but not in this one. For all have sin. There's only one purpose. And one reason why Jesus Christ came on the Christmas day is because of sinners. I want you to know that sinners give a life to Jesus Christ. We are all sin. I'm a sinner. You are a sinner. But when you come to Jesus Christ, he will cover you with his righteousness. Now you see why there is Christmas and Christmas is for sinners. The Lord forgives and forgets now, in conclusion, Christmas is a time of happy. Christmas is a time of giving gifts. And remember the old friends and family, you know, feasting. But Christmas is the time that God took a flesh, like me and you. He came to die. That little baby manger came to die for our sin. His name is Jesus. So give your life to him today, and he will save you. For the Bible says, if we claim to be without no sin, we deceive ourselves, the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and He will forgive our sins and purify us for our righteousness. The man blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord.